Hello, I'm Joe Pin, and welcome to Space Haven, which is a spaceship colony building simulation. Think RimWorld, but with spaceships, and you're basically there. We have to have colonists, we have to look after them, manage them. We build a spaceship tile by tile, and we also fly around the universe and gather up resources, make our crew bigger, expand our ship, get better technology. There are factions in this game, so there's like pirates and slavers and the Android Collective, I think it is, and a bunch of other ones that you'll be neutral. I think the pirates don't like you from the start, but based on your actions, um, you can, you know, gain favor with one or the other, and you can do trade, etc. Really good game. This has just had an Alpha 15 update. I think it was a few days ago. It was an experimental, but they've pushed it out into the stable branch now, and this adds body armor, I think, for your crew. Uh, augments for the crew and I think there's like laser rifles or laser weapons and um, plasma weapons with the crew as well and there's a bunch of other stuff as well I'll be here all day uh, with a list of changes but um, yeah this is a active developer that is actively developing this game they put out a lot of content it's really good um, I really like RimWorld but I kind of think this might be a little better I know that's perhaps a little bit wrong to say because RimWorld is brilliant but I think that for me, I think this might be better than RimWorld, to be honest. Um, as always, I'll have a link in the description down for this one, down below in the comments, uh, comments in the description, what are you talking about, Pin? Um, I think this is 50% off at the moment, but I think it only lasts for 24 hours, maybe less. I'm not too sure on that one, but uh, it'll probably be less by the time you see this. Um, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that. I'm not being sponsored or anything. Uh, so we'll change the game name to YouTube, and then there's a bunch of different starts. Uh, if you've not played the game before, do the basic platform because it goes to, take, takes you through the basics of the shipbuilding. And I'm going to do the mining station. Where, so we're stuck on an abandoned mining station. There's been an apocalyptic event and we don't have enough resources to survive so we have to gather what we can build a space spaceship and get out of there and uh, start exploring the universe and uh, you know start collecting up materials and building the crew researching new technology all that good stuff so just like RimWorld you can randomize your crew members you can also in this you can tweak them so you can completely change everything about them what they were before the apocalypse what they are after the apocalypse and make the crew of your dreams and then as with any Star Trek fans out there you can make your red shirts your blue shirts all that sort of stuff if you want to do that um, I think I'm just going to leave the default crew uh, we haven't got anybody good at mining but that's okay they will also level up um, some of these skills so like RimWorld this person is incapable of doing industry for instance and they're also no good at shields and gunners these red skills here are for the ship so like navigation, operations, consoles and stuff on the ship. And then these are more your kind of just a sort of daily tasks, mining, constructing the ship, etc. That sort of thing. Um, I think I'm just going to go though with a default crew because otherwise I'll be here for hours. But as I say, you can tweak your crew to whatever you want to do. And you can go randomize um, like there. You can just randomize that person if you want. Or you can, you know, tweak them and make them as you want. And then you can name them as well as well. So maybe we'll do that and name some people in the comments um at some point but let's just jump in and we'll get going okay so here we are and everybody's going to start in a spaceship this is our mining colony and we've got to get out of here because there's a limited amount of resources it'll tell you here i've paused the video if you want to read any of these i've read them a bunch of times so um yeah those are our resources that we have down here so we've got like water various building blocks we'll go through those there's quite a few blocks so uh, i won't go over them now but um as and when we encounter them, we I will go over them. Um, so they're going to take those spacesuits off. They just start with spacesuits on. That's just the way the game starts. And then they'll take them off. But they will put them on again if like oxygen was running out or CO2 levels were too high. Or if it was like, you know, 60, 70 degrees Celsius or something, they would put them on. I think it may be about 50 degrees. They will put them on as well. So there we go. Start building our new ship. So, if we pause the game, I'm going to just set a few things off first. We've got these grow plots over here, so or grow bed with light. We want to grow, I don't, did we have, I think we have someone with botany 4, right? I better just check through, actually, and make sure what skills everybody has got. I'm sure somebody had botany 4. Botany 4, there we go. So, Corey has got botany 4, and I think that might be the only one. And Vivian has a well. Great. So if we come here, it shows botany skill one. So root vegetables and basically anyone can plant those. Uh, so we'll get a couple of beds of root vegetables down. And then we will also get a couple of 
beds of veg uh, fruits down but the nuts I think is five yeah so it's five and then those are the grow conditions that they need but um, for now we'll get should we get all the fruit yeah let's go fruits as well there we go two of each and then we'll come over to these machines at the moment we can't make any of those I think we can make the recycler but we have to research everything else but we'll get to that um, so that's idling so I just want continuous of everything let's go there it's just something I like to do when I start the game up is just set all these tasks off and then I'll say if we have three water or less let's say like five less then produce uh, if we go so if we go less than five and then produce some um, water basically uh, just want to kind of set that and the same with this uh, soft blocks uh, let's cancel those two orders and we'll just say if we have less than three soft blocks make them if we have less than three whole blocks and then the same with the infra blocks um, there's a lot of blocks as I say I won't go over them now but we'll go over them as we play the game and then the same with this metal plates we will do that and that requires carbon and um, base metals and as you can see up here we've got noble metals ice base metals Hi uh, hyperium energy and I think that's carbon and then there's a derelict here as well so those are the things in this sector if that makes sense uh, there's a lot to go over but I'll try and cover it all and then we'll just say um, yeah, just continually make biomatter, why not? So they'll take their poop and stuff and uh, turn it into uh, fertilizer. Right, so the first thing we want to do is get an away team together. I'm looking for people with weapon skill and good accuracy. There we go. So we've got... Oh, you're clumsy. Oh boy. All right, well, Corey's clumsy. Okay. You might be good. So we'll go with Flora. There we go. We're going to draft you going to say go here and pick up a weapon and then we're going to get Eustace uh, what about yeah let's get Vivian as well let's draft Vivian so just like RimWorld you can draft people and then uh, you know get them to do various things you can kind of take command of them like RimWorld we can set tasks so that this person is terrible at construction so they don't do it but they do botany or something instead uh, we'll get to that as well there's a lot to cover so um I'm going to leave Corey because I want someone to do the botany. Uh, we're going to get you to go as well, I think. You go there and grab weapons. There we are. So I want those three to go and grab weapons. And we'll go to the derelict ship. Because there is probably weapon skill three. You have the shotgun. And then we'll go... You have a pistol. I think that's in the secondary slot. And then, uh, who was it? Vivian as well. You have a pistol as well. There we go. Brilliant. And then I'm going to get those three people to get in this shuttle. So these are our shuttles. We use those to do trade, board these ships. We can also board enemy ships, take prisoners, that sort of thing. Again, RimWorld style. And then these little pods here are for like mining and building the ship and so on as well. So I think with that in mind, we will say start mining all of these resources. Again, the, the miners might be coming on the uh, expedition with me, but uh, we'll, we'll worry about that later. For now, let's get that going. And then we also want to start thinking about building our ship. Um, that's the area of the ship that we've got at the moment. We can change that. I might just leave the default footprint down. If you come here, you can get rid of it, bin it, and then you can change a different shape. So that would be like the area of the ship that you can build in. So there's various different sizes and uh, shapes and that. So you can make whatever type of ship you want. I'm thinking I'm just going to go with this wide boy though. We'll just stick that back down again um, because you've got ship points. You've got up to eight ship points and each one of these blocks costs a point. There will be other derelicts around that you'll come across and if you use too much, so if you use the really big um, vessel, the six by the six one, the one that uses six, that will only leave you two points and so you might not be able to catch some of those ships and you do want to do that because you can then take apart the various systems that are on board and get the rip blocks back but um, yeah hopefully I'm not being too confusing but uh, there we go and then I'm going to build the hull uh, love as well with this I think it's this update they've put the middle in um, it was really hard to find the center in this build area now they've marked that I think that's brilliant that's such a good thing um, so I'm going to go out there so we'll do that for the moment. Go six by six. Do you know what? Let's let's go bigger. We're just going to build a box to start with, I think. Yeah, there we go. Uh, make that a little.
little bit longer on the top, a little bit longer on the bottom. Nothing great, but we'll start with a box. That's just, you know, gets us going then. Um, yeah, maybe a little bit more. Let's go with another one. Don't want to make it too big because we don't have a lot of resources here. But, uh, you know, there we go. I want to build enough, big enough area. So it might just be a flying box to start with. Um, and that's fine. Uh, do you know what? I'm going to just delete the corners. Just kind of add a little bit of shape to it. There we go. Don't just want a square box. That's good. And we could change that later. Um, so there we go. Let's unpause it now. I've kind of done everything. And then let's get going. And yeah, you guys are now in the space shuttle. So we're going to go dock. And we're going to tell you to dock at this ship here. Uh, there is actually a docking point but you can dock at any of the holes as well but we'll, we'll dock at the airlock there we go and then f1 to 4 we can speed up the time and there is a time of day as well and just like rimworld they will have let's just pause it they'll have schedules so they're working but at nine o'clock they'll stop or at 10 o'clock they'll have a bit of off time go to bed get up at four o'clock which is not a lot of time but there we go um, and then have a bit of breakfast and stuff and then get going again so let's go here and we will unload everybody and we're going to go out here. And there's going to be aliens on this as well. So um, on this ship. Not every ship has aliens. But uh, a lot of them do. And they'll get tougher enemies as well. So. Uh, oh. Do you not have a pistol out? Oh. I actually have to select you to have a pistol. Fair enough. That's interesting. You never know we had to do that. Ah. In use. Fair enough. I guess there's a sidearm. And they don't use it for some reason. Hmm. Not too sure on that one. We've got our bars here. We've got. Red is obviously health. Yellow is the energy, and then the blue one is our oxygen bar as well. So uh, we will need to come back here for oxygen. Uh, but I believe this update, there is mobile oxygen tanks that you can build. And there's also sentry guns as well. If you've ever seen the... I think it's only in the Alien Special Edition. Um, they have... Um, they have, like, sentry guns that shoot the aliens. You can make those as well in this. Uh, because this is broken, the aliens can't get to me. So we've kind of got them cornered there. Uh, let's just move back down here and maybe we can take that thing out. There we go. That's good. Let's come down here. They can't cross. I can cross that, but they can't cross it. And then to claim this derelict ship as ours, we just have to explore it and er eradicate any xenomorphs that are in here or whatever. So, uh, you know. I'd say there might be somebody, just a crew member, that's um, in cryo or something that you could get as well. That's, uh, that's always an option. Ah, there's a data pad. That either give me some cash or give me a bit of the story. Um, so let's go there and we'll claim that. New data log, yeah. So another data log. If you go here, uh, entry one. So yeah, if you want to read that, pause the video. I've I've read them already. So um, you know, if you want to read that though, but this is kind of the story. So there you go. Just pause the video and I'll scroll it down a little bit. There you go. And then there's an apocalypse as well. I will let you guys read that if you want as well. So again, just pause the video. And then, yeah, read that. Hopefully you read that. But uh, yeah, I've already read them. So um, I'm not going to do any of that. So I'll be here all day. Otherwise, let's go uh, this way. And there's only a little bit. Oh, there we go. We should be able to take you out. Got the shotgunner, which does a lot of damage. There we are. The CS Frostbite is good to go. So let's go over there. We'll come back. We'll get aboard. And then we'll start salvaging this thing. And they may actually start to build as well. So we will undraft this thing zoom out here uh, we can't claim this one but uh, it's a status derelict but i think it'll say status like claimable or something like that if i remember um, so there's a bunch of this there's soft scrap infra scrap tech scrap energy scrap and hull scrap and there's various uh, there's not actually any energy scrap fair enough that's fine and then there's a few bits and bobs on board as well so we'll select all and just take all of that with us as well and they will start to deconstruct that as well. Uh, so that's good. So everyone is probably out mining, I suspect. Let's go and have a look. Not sure what everyone's doing, actually. They're all hanging out here. Fair enough. Uh, maybe all the people that are good at mining and that are... Uh, yeah, you can't mine. Fair enough. Cordelia can't mine. You can't mine. Yeah. So most of the people that were supposed to be mining are not mining. Um, I may need to set some priorities because I really want to start construction and mining. Yeah, wow, there's only two crew members that can mine. And I guess, Corey, we kind of want you to mine, dude. Sorry, mate, we've only got two to go. So, 
yeah, I think that's the way to go. We'll get construction going on all these people. That's like their skill level as well. So, um, yeah, we get a load of people doing construction and mining. And then maintenance, you'll kind of crap at it. So we won't get you to do that. Get you to just work on the botany, I think. Research, we don't have that yet either. Um, so let's speed the time up because, uh, yeah, we want to kind of get going. There they go. They're going to go out and start building now. Start laying down the, that basic hole. We'll have to expand it, but for now, we'll just do that. Um, yeah, I know the things there. That's fine. That should be all good, right? They should be salvaging that now. People will go over there. They'll use those shuttles that we just used, and uh, they will start doing that. And then those mining pods used for construction and mining. There we go. Somebody's going over now, and they're going to start uh, tearing that apart, collecting all the bits that I selected, and then they'll start taking apart various systems, getting back scrap and stuff. They won't completely strip this ship. There will still be a floor left, but they will um, get rid of it. And then we need to build our spaceship and get out here, and they're slowly depleting these as well. So uh, we just going to have to run on times four speed because otherwise we'll be here for forever and a day. Uh, they're now all having a, just a break in the break room. And as with, like, uh, you know, RimWorld and that, are you, why are you sleeping in the... Are you injured, Vivian? Maybe she got injured. Okay, yeah, she did take a little bit of damage, so she's sleeping in the med bay. Uh, but we don't have a med bay or anything yet. We don't know that technology, but we will uh, get to it. Uh, there is a whole research tech tree as well. I should show you that. I think stuff has been added to this as well. I'm not sure whether it has this update or not. But there's a whole botany line, so we're going to need that as soon as we can so that we can make uh, the grow beds with the lights, for example. Entertainment, so like arcade machines, jukeboxes, etc. Whole medical things. Uh, there's like uh, alien technology as well. So there's uh, the crawler and the hauler. I think those are the two enemy types. And then crew equipment. Ah, this is new. So laser weapons, bulletproof vest, remote control, and enslavement facility. That pretty sure that's new. Maybe the enslavement facility isn't. I'm not too sure on that one. Whole industry thing. If I zoom out, you can see it better. There we go. So there's all this research to do. And just like RimWorld, you just put someone on a research bench. And uh, yeah, they will start um, collecting up, um, collecting research points um, on the various uh, things that you've selected. So there we go. They're all using the facilities before they get to work. So I'm just going to leave it on the fast speed because, as I say, it's going to take a while to build the ship. It's probably going to take us a couple of episodes to get out of here. Um, it takes a little bit of time, but that's all good. And uh, yeah, we'll try and prioritize people a little bit better once we get out here. Um, and could divine their one's role, but we just need to get this basic thing down and then we need to build an airlock on it. But I want to just get the basic box down first. And you can see there that it actually makes corners quite nice. Um, if you, uh, was it tab or something to add? There we go. So you can change the depth. So you've just got the walls, you've got that. So you know, you can kind of do that. And then you can take some of the walls away. Kind of generally like no walls, it's just easier to see. But um, you can play it like that if you want, or you can play it like that. Maybe we'll play it like that with the wall on the back. Yeah, that's better. Let's do it that way. Uh, but if you just cut a little corner off, it does actually shape it quite nicely. Although if you go here, it looks like a square. It, the game kind of rounds it off quite nicely, and I really like that. So there we go. So we've got that in. So I think I'm going to... Hmm, where am I going to put my airlock? Might expand this a little bit more. We're going to need it. So yeah, let's expand it. Let's expand. I'm going to try and make like a smaller... There we go. We'll have one more piece. Expand down into a smaller piece like that. Maybe we'll go to like there, and then we'll go stuff four, and we'll have a little corridor there, and then a bigger piece on the end, like so. Yeah, maybe something like that, and we'll just add an extra piece because that's what's that? One, two, three. <coughs> One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, okay. Maybe something like that, and then we'll just get rid of the corners for now on that. There we go. Kind of looks like E.T., doesn't it, or something. There we go. Um, but yeah, we'll do something like that. Maybe we'll just actually add that out a little bit more, like so. Just add a little bit extra to that, I think. Just kind of winging it. I've got a basic design, but... Uh, oh. Let's get rid of that. Um, let's actually expand that a little bit more, shall we? 
Go out a little bit more. There we go. We'll start off with that. There we are. That might be a bit too much, but I think we'll be okay. It does tell you the uh, whole cost down here, so it's going to cost me seven whole blocks. And I got 29, but other things are going to cost whole blocks as well. Uh, but that's good. And then we'll just put the airlock. So if we go objects, we go airlock. And we'll put this X1 airlock down. Uh, we need to uh, rotate that. How do we rotate again? Oh, it was Q and E. That was it. Um, I'm going to move this right down to this corner, I think, for the moment. Because they need an airlock to be able to get in and out. And then we can put heaters in, start heating this place up, get some oxygen, that sort of thing. Um, they've mined out all of those resources pretty well much. There's just those two left. Uh, they're just having a nap now. Uh, there's also a mass as well. So I don't want to go too big with the mass because... Uh, where are we? Engines, is it? Uh, was it power? No. Where was it? Facilities? Yeah, I can't remember where any of this stuff was. Uh... Oh, there's a system thing. Okay. All right, there's a system tab there. So the hyperdrives can move 800 mass. So, yeah, that's going to be a bit of a bit of an issue for us. That actually that's the that's the ship we're looking at. That's this ship. We're looking at the wrong one there. Uh, you are well on your way to building a new spaceship. Uh, for your crew, you have the crew prioritizing building the new spaceship. Be sure to set some of your crew members to prioritize working on the new ship. There we go. That's cool. So, we've got that up and running. That's great. Um, at the moment, I'm not too bothered. They can work on that as well. So we need some storage in now. It will take you through and tell you exactly what you need to build. But I'm going to start putting some stuff in because I kind of know roughly what we build need. So there we go. Somebody is aboard the ship now. If we go like it's really cold, it's like minus 54 Celsius in there. Um, there's no, the CO2 is safe, uh, but there's no O2 in there, obviously, because, um, you know, we haven't started uh, sorting that out yet. Although there was a little bit of oxygen there. It was a little bit odd, but there we go. So if we come here and then we go power. Ah, this has changed, hasn't it? Yeah, this has changed a lot. So we do need power. So I'm going to go... Uh, let's put the storage down actually first. I'm going to get a big storage box. Like right here. And we got like a small one. Uh, maybe like there or something. Hmm. Yeah, that'll do. That'll start us off. That might just get us going. I think we'll be okay with that. And then we'll get power down next because there's a bunch of these things I'm going to need. So we'll get the power generator. Leave a little gap. Now we'll put that there. Space is at a premium, so we'll put that in. And then we are going to need a life support. So we're going to need an oxygen generator. We'll put that say there and we'll put a heater next to it because we're going to need to heat this place up as well so that's a good start uh, we will need a gas scrubber as well i guess i'm just going to try and cram as much of this in as i can into such a small space it's just it's the way it's going to be for a while um we could put the gas scrubber i guess next to this stuff but uh, do you know what actually let's take let's take that down we'll put the gas scrubber next to it i think so, there we go. Right, and then we'll let those build that. They'll go and get some materials. They'll deposit them, come back and start working on them. All that sort of stuff. Um, but yeah, we've got, to, we've got to fit a lot of stuff into this. Um, you know, we've essentially got to shrink, not most of this, but we've got to shrink a lot of this area down into that uh, ship and a few of those things. Oh, we also need a tool. Is that still a thing? Like the tool uh, facilities... Workbench, research bench, uh, resources, tools facility. There we go. We need that. So that produces tools for us. There we go. It's just telling us now. I am way ahead of you. But as I say, if you, uh, even if you play this one, it will tell you what to do. So don't worry about that. Um, tools are going to be vital, aren't they? So yeah, you can pick this stuff up and move it later as well. So, you know, that's fine. Don't worry about that. You can pick it up, dismantle it, etc. So they're all good. They're getting all this stuff up and running. That's great. So they'll come and power this stuff up in a minute as well. So tools facility. We do want a water purifier as well. 
And we will also want a recycler, and we will also want some airlocks. Yeah, the problem... Do you know what? We're going to have to expand this thing, man. I'm seeing that already. It's way too small. i got to fit at least one of those and two of these hanger pods in as well. So, yeah, we're going to have to expand this place. That's fine, though. For the moment, I'm okay with that. So, I want to get a purifier in. And then we also want the recycler in as well. Let's just try and gauge these. Because, yeah, we can't build that because that's there. So, if we build that up against the wall... If we put the purifier next to it, there we go, that's good. Get those two things in next. Um, as I say, how's this doing? I may have stripped down a lot of this. Oh, did I? I did tell you to. Oh, no, do you know what? I didn't click salvage. My bad. Yep, my bad. I told them to transfer the stuff, but I didn't tell them to salvage. Yeah, you're probably shouting at me in the comments. There we go. And rightly so. Um, yeah, I totally forgot about that. But that's fine. It's no worries. We, we're going to strip up. We're going to mind everything. We're going to strip this thing down. And we've got to get this ship built anyway. So, um, yeah. We may need to go around and just expand it and wide it out by one. That looks weird, doesn't it? Oh, is that the view that I... Yeah, I think that's the view that I've got, isn't it? Yeah, so... Yeah, that's fine. Let's do it that way. Uh, everyone's sleeping. And then everyone's going to come out and sort this out. And they'll start salvaging this ship apart as well now. So, yeah. Really great game. I really like this game. I say I played it in lockdown 2020, and uh, that really helped. And uh, you know, spaceship game, I'm all about that. So that's good. And then I might want to actually tell you a couple of people. So who's good at construction? So what else are you doing? You're doing bot. You're doing maintenance. Yeah, I think maybe we'll get Addison to work over there. She's not going to sleep over there because you know that's not a good thing. So I'll tell her to work over there as a priority. And then who else is good at construction? Cordelia, what else does she do? She's good at medical, but we should be okay on that. So we'll get Cordelia over there as well. Just try and speed this up a little bit. There we go. There we are. That's good. So we can just get some more construction going. As I really want to get that going. Uh, we want to get out here by, you know, day 12 or something. We want to get out here soon. Uh, I haven't shown you the system map either as well. Sorry about that. Uh, but yeah, there's this whole system here. This is all connected and then there's all of this whole galaxy to explore, uh, which has various factions which control. So this starship is unoccupied or under dispute. Uh, this one is owned by the Military Alliance. Uh, this one is owned by the Baron of the Frontier. Uh, is there no pirate ones? Ah, there's like a pirate one. Pirate controlled system. Uh, we've got factions here, which the pirates are hostile. Everybody else is fairly neutral. So even though the anti Troy Collective is minus nine, they probably will trade with us. But if the pirates jump in, they will attack us on sight. But that shouldn't happen in this first zone. Um, but it uh, might be later on that we get some of that. There we go. That's good. Right. There we go. Thermal regulators next. So... That is the next thing that we want to get. So life support. Um, can I put that there? Yes, I can. There we go. Cool. And then we'll put one, say, there in the corridor to start with. That'll get that going. So what else? We've got the oxygen. So we've got pretty well much all of that. This should slowly heat up. Once we get those in, that should start to heat up. Um, and then we will do the power as different think I need those down right if I remember rightly and um, that's the area that the power will be drawn from so yeah we're gonna need to expand but uh, for now let's not worry about that let's uh, let those two build and then so what else we've got life support facilities uh, we do want a research bench as well decorations Ooh, ooh, interesting oh that's new I don't remember those uh, wall lights Cover object. Provide some cover from enemy fire. Oh. Interesting. Okay, and a new type of light. Floor lights. That's kind of cool as well. Bunk beds. Yeah, some new stuff. Walls and stuff as well. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to expand this hole out a little bit more. Let's do that next. Um, as you can see, where I've put the airlock, we can't build in that zone at all. Um, I can't build in that area. 
Um, so you, if you wanted to move that, you'd have to build another airlock, and then take that one down. So yeah, that can be a little bit awkward, but never mind. Um, it is what it is. Let's just expand this one, and we'll just kind of add one to everything, I think. Like so. Make that a little bit wider. Like there, there we go. And then we're going to need to make this a little bit wider as well. We'll go there, we'll add that, and then we'll delete that one. And I wouldn't mind just deleting that as well, keeping that kind of theme going. And then we'll add just a little piece to this side as well, maybe two actually. Let's go there, yeah. Let's go there, and we'll just add a little bit of extra room because we're going to need it. Um, yeah, I might need to just lose that as well, make the corridor a little bit wider actually. There we go. That's good. That uh, that thing there. Let's change that. Uh, I want to try to let's get rid of it because we're going to expand that wall. So let's do that first. We're going to need some more room. So yeah. I um, kind of want to keep that basic theme going, sort of a long neck, and then the kind of operations room up in the front here. And then we'll probably have some like boosters or something coming off the side here. Um, something like that. It's kind of my thinking anyway so far. Uh, but hey, it might change. But we'll expand that out a little bit. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. I've just got to finish that off. If people are in there, it's fine, by the way. Although it looks like it's exposed to space, it's not. So they're okay. If we go here, O2 is looking pretty good. It's getting up there. Yeah, that's nice. Medium, it's not perfect yet, but it's slowly going. CO2 is low, which is fine, so the gas scrubber is working. And then the temperature, actually that's really hot because we're near all these machines. Um, and then as you go in here, it's actually heating up nicely. So um, yeah, that's all pretty good. So people can go in there and work with their spacesuit off, which is perfect. Um, so we're gonna build, some, build a thermal regulator and a wall thermal regulator. Do I have to build both of those? I guess I do, fair enough. Uh, let's go and we'll go to life support and we'll build a wall one here for now. Uh, that wall one should have stayed and floated, but it's fine. And then I think I need to build this power node, right? Ooh, what's that? What's that? I'm not too sure what that is. That thing I'm not familiar with. Uh, there we go. I'm going to build that there for now. Because, yeah, the way the power works is completely different to uh, when I played it last. So, there we go. That's good. And I'll probably put a wall in here somewhere. There we go. Let's just let them finish this off. And then I need to put some crew quarters and stuff in as well, which we want to separate from the where the industry and stuff is going because people don't want to live next to reactors and stuff, do they? So, you know, um, we've got to sort that out. And we'll get this stuff. You'll go in there, Cordelia. You get that fixed as well. We should get the next quest as well. There we go. So I need beds and I need a toilet as well. So, okay, furniture. We've got bunk beds. That's what we're going to go with. Can we put a couple of bunk beds in? We need six in total. I don't remember whether you can put them together like that. I don't think people can get on them. I can't remember though. I can't remember whether they can. I don't think they can. I think there has to be a gap between them. But I could be wrong on that one. Uh, let's just put a separate room on this side. Like so. And then we will put a toilet down as well. Facilities. We need a toilet. Which we'll put there. We'll move that bunk bed over a little bit. Do you know what? We might need to just change the design of this slightly. I can't remember whether they can go side by side. Hmm. Let's move this thing. Let's rotate it. Definitely go there. Get that one. Rotate. And we can go there. Like so. And then if we get a third bunk bed down. Uh, where are we? Furniture. Bunk beds. There. Don't really want everyone to, uh, you know, be next to the toilet. We'll then put a wall in. Which will go along there like so. And then there's doors. I think there was, wasn't there double doors as well? Yes, there was. That's great. I love that. There's double doors. 
I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but that's just so damn good. Uh, let's just take that out for the moment. Um, and then walls again. We'll wall the toilet off because, you know, it's a toilet. So you don't want to be on there and people talking to you. So um, you want to be privacy and do your business. Um, yeah, okay. Well, do you know what? We'll take that out, actually. Let's take that out. Ah, oh, man. I don't think I've got enough space to build this. Damn it. Yeah, I'm not going to have enough space to build it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Um, maybe we can jam it in there. No, we can't. Ah, that needs to be one wider. Ah, damn it. Okay, right, here we are. I am just building up the bedroom. I've expanded that a little bit. So there we go. Uh, they're having a little bit of a conversation by the looks of it. We're going to get the toilet down next so we can have some privacy. And I think I might need to move that again, actually. I'm not too sure. It's hard to tell. I can't rotate the camera, so... Uh, let's go up, sorry, no, objects, walls, I'm gonna go there, yeah, I might need to, might need to move that, make the toilet here, small toilet, that's all, we'll have to put some lights in as well at the moment, we'll just get another door there so they can go use the facilities, uh, we're gonna move that a little bit again, just one over, there we go, make that a priority so they can build that. There we go. Let's get them going again. And they should be able to just move that. I think it was okay, actually. Yeah, it was okay. Never mind. That's fine. And then we'll put a door in there as well. So that, that kind of walls that off. So that it's private then. Uh, this should be getting there. Shouldn't be too far off. Uh, we need... It's just they've all gone to sleep. So we need some airlocks. It's going to need the pod hangers. Oh boy. Yeah, I may have... Oh, there we go. I think I can get that one in there. That's good. That's good. Okay, and then we can get that. Can we get that in there as well? I don't think we're going to. No. Okay, that's a shame. Okay, we can get that there. But can we get the shuttle? Yeah, the shuttle's going to be a bit awkward. Okay. Um, I get. We need the engines as well. Oh, boy. <laughs> it's getting a little bit tight at the moment. So, yeah. We'll put those pods in, though. We can then move this around. But as I say, this is probably going to take me a few episodes to get this to uh, move. So, um, yeah, we need beds and we need toilets. That's fine. Nobody's sleeping in those at the moment. I don't want them sleeping in those yet. Just, uh, you know, they're better off uh, not doing that. So there we go. So we need some lights. So we'll build some lights as well for these guys now. Uh, power. No, where are we? Uh decoration life support no where was it furniture there we go light Ooh, that's new floor light wall light um this one might just do it mightn't it uh we could put that so if we put one say there i guess they'll want one in the bedroom right let's do that you probably want one in the toilet so you can see what you're doing and uh we will then put one so like there as well. That's good. So I'm not sure. Do I need to build one of each? I'm not sure. There we go. And then I need a kitchen or an algae dispenser. Probably just going to go with the algae, but I guess we could build a kitchen. So life support. No, where is it? Food. There we go. So we could build the kitchen. Well, I mean, obviously a food dispenser would be nice, wouldn't it? So if we put the food dispenser up against the toilet, because why not? And then we're going to need some furniture for everyone to sit down and eat at the place. So if we go, just going to, again, just going to be trying to cram as much of it in as I can into a small space because I uh, say so we've got a lot to fit in here. And then we'll put a table like that table there. There we go. That should work, I think. Ah, no. Okay. Uh, waiting for a construction job. Okay, I thought that was said uh, they couldn't get in, but no, I think they should be okay. That should be good. So they got nowhere to relax. And then the other thing as well, systems. We're going to want a navigation console. And we're also going to want an operations console, so we'll put that up there as well. Uh, temperature is not great up here, is it? Yeah, so we need some more life support. Let's get a wall heater, uh, build a stabilizer, that's the next one. Let's get that built. 
And we'll make that a priority. And then we'll get a hull stabilizer system again. Yeah, hull stabilizer. Oh boy. Um, I guess we could put this up here. Yeah, let's put that there for now. So that should stabilize most of the hull, right? Yeah, hopefully I've done that right. That may have changed, but um, yeah, we should be good. Uh, right, but I think this is a good place to call it, and I think we'll end the episode here. We're not too far off getting ready to go. We, I need to get the uh, mining pods, because once those are built, I can get these mining pods. I can transfer them from there over to here, and then the sh same with the shuttle. I'm going to transfer one of them over. I'm not going to be able to take all four pods, and I'm not going to be able to take all two shuttles, but I want to take as many of them as I can. So, I think engines and the pods. I don't think there's much else left to do. Um, we can also do jobs. Logistics, fruit, uh, artificial, we'll just go root vegetables. Oh, I've got to select a worker. That'll be okay. That'll get sorted out. We're all living between two uh, things at the moment. Uh, but anyway, as I say, I think for now, I think this is a good place to call it. And I think I'll end the episode here. So if you like that one, please give me a thumbs up. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe for more. I really do appreciate it. Stay safe out there, everyone. And I'll catch you next time.